applying the uh, wind and load uh, wind and uh, seismic loads so uh, you can go for load combinations concrete design you can uh, like you can use the auto generation option to uh, generate the load combinations and um, so the safety factors are automatically given and you can click ok and then you can get the uh, generate the load combinations automatically and if you run the analysis uh, you can uh, perform the analysis And um, after performing the analysis, uh, you can uh, interpret the results. Um, So the analysis is completed uh, and uh, if you want to view uh, results uh, you can check for the vibration mode shapes here and uh, if you go to this option and you can check for the story drift uh, say due to this uh, usually the recommended one is 1 over 500 so you can check if the story drift is okay so they provide the remark automatically you can generate the tables and uh, story drift also um, if you perform a RS analysis uh, then you can check for the story shear as well and uh, also mm, and if there are any irregularities torsional irregularities in the structure then that can also be checked say for EY I'm checking so here so there are some irregularities in the structure and s all these remarks will be given by uh, uh, and even if there are soft stories like if there are stiffness irregular irregularities all this can be uh, generated and also the vibration mode shape again um, you can get the fundamental uh, periods and as well as the modal participation uh, factors um, the model participation uh, factors you have 83% uh, in the x direction and 81% in translation in y direction so those kind of guys are there and uh, the model participation so in here it's about 50% in the fundamental mode in x direction and in the second mode about 50% in the y direction so uh, but if if uh, the structure is uh, a regular structure then we can expect uh, more than 90 percent in the fundamental mode in the x direction so there are some irregularities in this structure anyway uh, and also uh, the other results that we can interpret uh, uh, you can get the reaction forces mm, so that's fz uh, and you can give the load combination to which load combination that you uh, check for uh, let's say we are looking at um, just for the combination four we are looking at the um, uh, the reaction forces and this way you can get the uh, reaction fo forces and also the maximum reaction force uh, is also shown here uh, so that way you can use these forces uh, when you want to design your piles, pile caps. For the foundation design you can use these reaction forces and uh, apart, from, apart from that uh, you can get the displacement contour for the building. Mm, so that's um, say for combination 4 you can get the um, deformed shape, contour, values, legend and yeah, so let's not get the values. 
so you get the um, the displacement uh, contours and um, also uh, the forces you can get the uh, beam forces uh, the beam diagrams solid fuel multiply let's just be one uh, flow let's just be one flow and uh, check the um, values so this is the beam forces 